Uh, in my past experience of almost five years working with hospitality startups, uh, one of the core realizations that I had was that energy is one of the largest operating expenditure that happens in commercial properties. And no one, like almost no one looks at energy as a, as a point wherein, you know, it can be saved. While we end up, you know, negotiating with our uh, say different kinds of suppliers we have uh, our tissue paper vendor our toilet paper vendor our chemical vendor etc etc but we don't look at electricity as a point wherein we can end up saving electricity and that's what i'm here to do i am here to basically solve that problem for you and metalog does that for you so just hold on all right. So essentially, electricity is one of the largest operating expenditure, like I said, in commercial property. Then it goes completely unregulated, resulting in up to 50% of our total electricity getting wasted. Right. So when I came across this problem uh, back in 2019, the obvious question that I had was the obvious question that I had was uh, where do we end up wasting electricity in the first place? That's the first point right i am saying that there is a lot of electricity wastage happening but you need to be able to identify those points of wastages in order to plug them right so for that i basically did a bit of a lot of research actually not a bit of research and ended up ended on these two conclusions so there are two reasons why electricity gets wasted in any property the first is human negligence and this happens when an equipment that is running in the property is basically left running even when it's not required. So one of the example is, say you are in a room and you move out of the room, you forget to switch off electricity. You move into the washroom, you move out of the washroom, look, you use the loo, you move out of the washroom, you forget to switch off the exhaust fan and the say like, uh, lights inside the washroom. So at any given point in time in any commercial property that is out there, uh, there are a lot of uh, wastages happening within the property due to human negligence. So another example is if you are in an office space, right? And uh, you're occupying a meeting room, you're done with your meeting, you move out of the meeting room and apparently the meeting was stressed. So you were all in your head, right? And you did not, you were not uh, say uh, aware enough to close the electricity or switch off the electricity before moving out of the meeting room, right? And <clears throat> what's happening? You are basically wasting electricity. And you can actually, when you when you try and count these kinds of instances, in a 20,000 square feet property, these kind of instances happen for almost, almost 50, 50 times in a day, these kind of instances happen. And if you add up the total number of total amount of time by like for which electricity gets wasted, it goes to almost two to three hours, right? So two to three hours of electricity getting wasted at different kinds of appliances running, even when they are not required, right? So we solve this problem using automation. <laughs> the second reason why electricity gets wasted is faulty equipment. So in any commercial property, there are multiple equipments that are there, right? So say a uh, 50,000 square feet property probably has around 30 to 40 ACs within the property, even more, right? And what happens is that in most of these properties, there is uh, a periodic scheduled maintenance that happens. So maintenance is happening, regular maintenance is happening, say every 45 days or every two months, right? And say an equipment like AC gets faulty today, right? And you get to know about it only 45 days later that it has gotten faulty. And by that time, what happens is that you end up paying a lot on electricity bill because a faulty equipment generally consumes a lot more electricity to do the same task, right? So for example, if you have an AC in your office and say that some capacitor or some like component within the AC has gotten faulty, uh, you don't get to know about it at that point in time. But to say, to get the temperature from 27 degrees to 24 degrees, if the AC had to do X amount of work earlier when it was completely fine, 
now that it has gotten faulty, it has to do some x plus delta amount of electricity it will require to do the same work, right? So, and imagine this kind of inefficiency happening in 10 to 15 ACs for 30 to 40 days within your, uh, you know, regular maintenance cycle, right? So, we solve this problem by using analytics. To help you understand this, I'll give you an analogy, an analogy of a doctor, right? So, whenever you get sick, what happens? You go to a doctor. What does a doctor do? Doctor looks at certain symptoms of your body. He looks at your body temperature. He looks at your pulse rate. He looks at your blood pressure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And based on that, he tells you that these these are probably this is the problem with you, right? So you are probably sick, right? And that's essentially what we do with analytics. We track various different like different kinds of parameters like para fact, power factor. Uh, voltage, current, uh, grid frequency, uh, reactive power, pa like uh, active power, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And all these parameters basically are a very, very good indicator of the health status of equipments that are there within the company, right? So if you're doing the tracking of these equipments in real time, you can essentially uh, identify faulty equipments well in advance and you can get them fixed and you don't have to, and now your equipments are not operating in a faulty state for say 30 to 45 minutes, which would have happened otherwise, right? So th these are the two reasons why electricity gets wasted and we solve these problems through using automation and using energy analytics, right? So in a nutshell, we help commercial properties eliminate electricity wastages in their property using analytics and automation. Right. Uh, so we are able to sort of reduce electricity wastage by up to 80%. Right. And your electricity bill can get reduced by up to 40% if you are basically implementing the entire solution properly. If you're looking at your analytics on a daily basis, you're acting upon the alerts that you're getting on a regular basis, you can potentially save up to 40%. Right. So how does it all work? Right. So essentially it's very simple. We have hardware. We have, there are three components of it. There are, there is a hardware, there is an analytics dashboard, and then the third part is the automation. Mode, right. So the role of the hardware is to sense electricity consumption in real time and control energy, uh, based on, um, uh, rules that you define. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. So sensing electricity consumption means in real time sensing as to what are those critical parameters, those critical parameters that I talked about in the previous slide. Uh, here for, for identifying faulty equipments, you need energy analytics. For you to get energy analytics, you need to monitor those critical parameters in real time. So we help you monitor those critical parameters in real time. And at the same time, we help you control electricity within the property in real time as well. Right. So say uh, you identify that there is no one inside a meeting room. Okay. So you put an occupancy sensor inside a meeting room and that occupancy sensor identifies whether there is someone inside the room or not. Then we can basically provide you switches that can sort of cut off electricity. We can also provide you occupancy sensor, but that is not our core offer. Right. So these hardwares are basically sensing and controlling energy consumption happening within the company, right? Once the data is sensed, right? It has to be sent somewhere. So it is basically sent through your Wi-Fi router into, uh, into our online dashboard, right? So basically it is sent to our cloud platform and then on the cloud platform, we, we basically show you that data in the form of graphs and charts. And you can also get different kinds of reporting to be on top of your uh, regular maintenance. Like be proactive about your maintenance, identify faulty equipments in advance and all that, right? And apart from that, you can also set automations. Now automations are basically like alerts or they are like, uh, you know, switch off the electricity when there is no one inside the room. So you can define these kind of rules through our platform, right? and you can end up saving a lot of electricity. So you can say that, you know, if the energy consumption 
of a room of or if the voltage of of a room goes above say 240 volts for a period of 20 minutes switch off all the electric cut off the electricity in the room why because you don't because if the voltage is higher then that means that there's a probability that it might end up damaging the equipment within the room and you don't want that to happen you want to be proactive about it right so you can offload that work to a computer basically essentially we are there is a server sitting on cloud which is essentially a computer and you can offload that those kind of rules to a computer and the computer will do it for you at all like without fail right so that's how the entire solution works uh so so we use a combination of cloud platform and iot devices for regulating electricity consumption within the property so these are some of the features of the platform that we have the first one is energy analytics we give you very rich data about how electricity is being consumed in your property as a, as a result of it you can also be apps very very proactive about uh, you know maintenance of your property you can get to know about your quality equipment well in advance you can also do remote plug load management which is basically cutting off switching off appliances when they are not required so uh to give you an example like cutting off electricity is one of the examples like cutting off electricity in a room when not needed is an example of plug load management apart from that you can do space optimization so for example you know you are monitoring a room right or you are monitoring say a heavy freezer okay in real time you are monitoring the energy consumption on a heavy freezer or any kind of heavy machinery and you realize that uh, because you're getting you know in real time you're getting signatures energy analytics right uh, you realize that you know that freezer isn't being used that often so probably that freezer is occupying a space that is redundant right so that's how you can do basically space optimization you can take that freezer and put it somewhere else where it can be used much better freezer or any any kind of heavy equipment that you can think of then apart from that uh, you can charge the occupants of your property for the electricity that they use and you can do that like so for example if you're running a paying guest or you're running a pg or you're you're giving out uh, rooms to students on rent right now you don't want to collect them want to collect the electricity bill from them at the end of the month you want to want them to recharge their electricity in advance you can do that and the fourth thing that you can do is revenue assurance which is uh, and this is specific to hotels right so revenue assurance uh, to help you understand revenue assurance basically what it is is that a lot of time what happens is that in hotel properties uh, you get a lot of walk ins you get a lot of walk ins right and what ends up happening is that when the property owner is not there in the property a lot of times the front desk manager takes the booking but doesn't reflect it onto the property management system because why because the guest checked in at night and he will he said that he'll be leaving in the morning so he, they give them an, a discount and they are like if you're leaving in the morning i'm not putting a booking onto the system and nobody will get to know about it and i'll keep all the money in my own pocket right and that happens you cannot even believe how much that happens and how many times there are you get walk ins wherein uh you know they just want to stay over for a night and leave in the morning right so a lot of times uh, the front desk managers they keep the money in their own pocket now because we are monitoring electricity we can monitor electricity consumption happening in the room we can actually tell you as to for how long was the room occupied right so say if the room was occupied last night room 101 in a hotel room 101 is the name of the room was occupied in a hotel for say uh 5 hours last night then uh and and the booking for the room was not there onto the property management system then on a daily basis basically you can get a report wherein you can get 
from our system you can get a report wherein you will get as to for how many minutes or for how many hours was the room used last night right so then you have some data to cross verify so it becomes like a 5 minute process on a on 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 a daily basis or a 10 minute process on a daily basis you take out the report from our platform you see the occupancy of last night on uh in your hotel as per the property management system and then you can collate right so in case if the room 101 was occupied but not shown as occupied onto the property management system you can catch that there is something wrong either the staff was misusing the room or the room was given to a guest without uh you know marking it onto the pms and the money for it has been is with the property manager manager he has kept it in his own pocket illegally right so these are some of the benefits that we have uh we are quite versatile we can connect with third party apis right we can basically update our devices over the air right so just like your mobile phone gets updated receives updates your the devices that are there on ground each and every of our device will get updated in terms of the software so so the software will get updated all the data is 100% encrypted so from the like the data is encrypted from at the device level itself so nobody can basically intercept the communication and sort of get the data on their own cloud even if they do intercept it they will not be able to decode it and then we have designed the entire solution for small and medium sized commercial properties right so it's very very affordable it is designed for affordability in mind it is designed for a market like india or nigeria these are some of the partners that we are working with and cumulatively we are working with around 120 pro properties in india at this point in time and going really really strong uh, just slowed down a little bit because of the covid and like you all know the commercial properties were not most commercial properties were not operating but still we have around 120 uh, properties under our belt and in each property there are multiple meters so there are in each properties there are around uh, 30 to 40 meters we have yeah so that's it that's all i have for you at this point in time if you have any questions do feel free to write back to me and i'll be more than happy to sort of answer those thank you